Hello everybody, I'm Scouted E3, and I'm here to kind of bring you, talk to you, well, bring you, well, I guess I am kind of bringing you, bring this project to your attention, but um, talk to you about a project I've been kind of working on. Um, I've, I'm a big fan of the original Ghost Recon games, the, the well, the original Ghost Recon game, like, I, I really hadn't gotten too much into the expansions, which I kind of need to do, but... You know, the original 15 missions in particular, I, I love those. And um, it's I still play them. And, um, you know, I kind of got into Arma. And it kind of has some of the same feels of of um, Ghost Recon. And um, I kind of kind of hope to see someone out there kind of recreate the original missions of Ghost Recon. And it never really happened. Um, and I wanted to see it so much that I decided, well, you know what? I'm personally going to go ahead and do this. And to, to my great surprise, it actually seems like there's a few other people out there who seem to be interested in seeing these missions recreated. Um, and I'm not trying to, uh, I should make it clear, I'm not trying to perfectly recreate these missions. I'm more trying to get the feel and the essence of the missions and bring in as many of the objectives. I'm having to change some of the ways and some of the objectives in the game because of, you know, either because I don't know how to make it or because of the terrain restrictions. Uh, you know, the terrain is different and some of the situations are different. Um, but I'm t trying to keep that core kind of feel of the mission, the Ghost Recon mission that I'm trying to recreate. I'm trying to create the essence of the mission uh, rather than making a copy of the mission. And um, I'm using putting in virtual arsenal for those of you who know what that is. I'm going to try to keep that in everyone. And whenever possible, I'm going to try not to use the waypoint system because I feel like I feel like when people when I use the waypoint system anyway, um, when I'm following a mission with the waypoint system, a waypoint pops up, and I'm, I instinctively just want to go straight for that waypoint. And that to me is not Ghost Recon and. And, you know, I what I really loved about Ghost Recon is, you know, you'd pull up the map, figure out where your next objective is, and figure out how to approach it. And um, that's kind of a lot of what I'm trying to reproduce in this mission. I'm trying to make them non-linear. Um, some missions like the, um, the um, Eager Smoke mission, the second Ghost Recon mission, which I have already got on Steam. I've got the first and second one on Steam, by the way. Um, and I'm working on the third one. But um, the second one, you have to save hostages. I didn't know, or I don't at the moment. Hopefully, I'll figure it out. Figure out it. I'm sure there's a better way to get, um, you know, hostages or other units to link up with with your unit. Um, so I had to use the waypoint system to to accomplish that. Um, but whenever possible, I'm trying not to use the waypoint system. So um, if you're interested in seeing a sort of recreated Ghost Recon missions, the original 15 in particular. I don't know if I'm going to go beyond that at this point. The 15 is really my goal, is to recreate those original 15 missions that were in the original Ghost Recon. I believe there are 15. I hope I'm not, like, demonstrating a complete lack of knowing how many missions there are, but I was pretty sure there's 15. Um, but I'm trying to recreate the essence of those missions. And if you're interested... Um, I've started releasing them on Steam under the names. Um, the, of course, the first one is Iron Dragon, and the second one is Eager Smoke. And uh, they're both done by me, Scout83. And uh, currently I'm working on Stone Bell, which um, that one's proving quite a challenge. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'll make it work. And um, thank you. And I hope you enjoy them. And thank you for watching.